no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. What's going on y'all? Attorney Tom here. In today's video, I'm reacting to a video called Cops Unlimited Patient Runs Out When She Does This by Crime Scene Cam. Let's jump right into it. On August 1st, 2022, police pulled over a woman who was reported to possibly be driving under the influence. While the driver remained calm, her girlfriend quickly got upset. It's, it's Victoria, it's my girlfriend. Down. She's, no, she's... 10-4. You can go in there. 27 out in Lindsay. Hi there. Hi. How's it going today? She was trying to get me to the hospital. We had a depression. Okay. All right. Well, what's going... Where were you coming from? We were coming from home. Where's home for you? Over there. Okay. Do you have any idea on you by chance? No, I don't know where my wallet went, so I'm trying oh. to figure that out. Okay. Can I come out? Uh, in just a minute, okay. Uh, what's your what's your first name? Victoria. Okay, so a couple of interesting things. From the beginning, we're told that the reason why this car was pulled over is because they believe the driver was driving while intoxicated. Remember, the police can pull you over so long as they have reasonable suspicion we don't know if they have reasonable suspicion we haven't seen anything however for the purposes of this video we're going to assume they do because reasonable suspicion is a fairly low bar it's anything more than just a hunch and while the police have reasonable suspicion they are allowed to investigate further they are allowed to temporarily detain the suspect in order to determine if their reasonable suspicion is correct and if they get to probable cause they're allowed to arrest. Now, we have somebody who is a passenger in the car. Does a passenger have to identify themselves if the police ask? Well, the answer is it's going to depend. It's going to depend if the passenger is a suspect or not of an alleged crime. And it's also going to depend on what state you're in. Some states will require all passengers to identify themselves, whether or not there is reasonable suspicion or not. Let's see if that becomes an issue. Where is she? Okay, which hospital? I don't know. Okay. But can I talk to her? In I'm just a minute. She's, talk talk she's talking to that officer real quick. In just a minute, okay? But can I come out at least because I really need to come out? No, not, not yet, okay? I can't sit in the car. Can I at least sit out there? Not yet, okay. 29 is going to be on a person in Victoria. And is she like a friend of you? or my girlfriend. Girlfriend, okay. Can I sit outside of the car? I really don't want to be in here. Not yet, okay. Go ahead. A lot of mental health issues. No, I hear you. Out. <laughs> yeah, if you can step out here. Can I please step out? Just sit on the sidewalk right here. Well, what's wrong with the car? I don't want to be here. I feel alone. Can I sit outside? In just a minute, okay? Please. Please, can I sit outside? God. Please. I'm just asking to sit right here. Yeah, if you want to, that's fine. That's where I'm trying to sit. Just okay. Right just have a seat. I'm just trying to take you just to the have hospital. Just have a seat. Okay, you wanted to sit there, now you can sit there, okay? So which hospital do you normally go to? I don't know. I just, I just want to hang out with Victoria here. Hey, Victoria, my name's Ty. What's going on? I don't want to talk. Okay. Okay, so Victoria did something smart there. She says, I don't want to speak to the police. Now, she should have added, I want my lawyer present. That's a key phrase here. And the reason why you shouldn't speak to the police is you can really only hurt yourself. She might say something incriminating, and uh, it can really only make things worse. Be polite, but sit down and be quiet and let the police focus on the driver of the car, who should also not be speaking. What's that, Victoria? I have a lot of mental health issues I okay. don't want to talk about anything. Okay, we, we don't have to talk about anything if you don't want to talk about it, okay? Can you stand away from me a little bit? Please. Like a foot, is a foot back okay? Like to the end of the car. Oh, like right here. You cool with that? Just a little bit, yes. I got it. All right, cool. What's that from? This is when I got it. Were you just trying to go to the gas station? Okay. Like, we're going to go before they, she goes to the hospital, but okay. it didn't happen. Okay. 
What was the reason for stopping this? I want to know that. I just got here. I just got here. Can you ask him what the reason was? Yeah, was. And he'll explain that. Can you ask him? So the police actually have no obligation to tell the passenger what the reason for stopping is. In fact, they actually don't have an obligation to tell the driver what the reason for the stop is. Now, obviously, they're doing their due diligence to try to get probable cause if they don't already have probable cause. And if they have probable cause, they're just trying to get more evidence to then use against them. You do not have a right to be informed. I know that's kind of counterintuitive. Because I'm going to break the f oh, Victoria. Can you ask him? <laughs> Can you just ask him one simple well, question? Well, from what I know is that you guys were involved with another vehicle about driving behavior. That's all I know right now. It wasn't our fault. Okay. What'll happen? Someone cut us off. She tried to back up to protect us. So if I could edit these things From getting hit. Okay. <laughs> because this red car comes off. Back. 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 Victoria, Victoria, you're okay. Okay. Hey, um, she has a lot of behavior. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just let her calm down. Thank you. You need to step away further. Victoria, shut up. You're fine. Move a little. Victoria, you're fine, honey. It's okay. I, I was bringing her to the doctor. I'm gonna move, okay? Where are you going? I'm gonna move. In front of the car. Okay. I just gotta go with you though. Okay. Okay. You're okay, honey. I'll stand over Stop. here. It's, I'm sorry. It's fine. The car is shut. Victoria, you're okay. Victoria, you're okay. What's that? Your car door is shut. Oh, that's, that's my sergeant. He's in his car right now. I, I don't know. Victoria. He said he lost her. I, your... Notice how in the background they're doing the gaze and astigmatis test. What they're looking for is any oscillation in the eyes. Okay, so in theory, if you're drunk, your eyes shouldn't be able to move slowly. In fact, they'll go really quickly or they'll oscillate up and down. That's a sign of impairment. The problem is these tests are subjective. A lot of people have eye issues. I have a lazy eye. They're not really the most accurate and they can be used as evidence against you. Yes, I don't know where I put it. I think I might have it at the store, but I don't remember. What store were you at? I think it was um, Holiday. Okay. Was it here in town, in Chippewa? Yes, here in okay. Chippewa. Okay. But I don't know. Okay. But I had it, but I don't remember exactly where it was. Okay. Which is irritating me. I had it. Well, did you did you buy anything at holiday or no? Yes, I bought okay. something else. So like you used something to pay. Okay. Yes. So it's a good chance it could be there. That was the last place I paid anything out. Okay. How long ago was that today? I don't exactly know. Okay. But sometime during the daytime? Yes. Okay. Well, like recently, but I don't exactly remember. I got you. So it's a really good chance that it's still there. Yes. Okay. I got you. Can you tell him not to come closer? I only need one cop near me because he's, he's going to give me anxiety. Okay. Please he's, tell him not to come He's just, yeah, okay. He's just standing right there. Just me and you. Some of our phones have come I just hung up. Okay. Why don't you have a seat again? Let me What's well, phone's yours? I might be plugged into the court. Can I open the door cool. so I don't hit you? Well, I'll, I'll get it for you. Your phone. Well, I don't exactly know if it's connected to that black cord, but it should be. The black cord? Okay. Yes. Why don't you have a seat? I'll grab it for you, okay? You okay if I grab it? Yes. Your phone? Okay. Not connected to the black cord. Well, then I don't know. Okay. So... What's interesting about this is the police have no obligation to give you your phone if your phone was left inside the car. However, the police essentially got consent to get a, a better vantage point of what's inside the vehicle. She gave consent to get the phone via the black cord so the police officer could look in and see what was going on. And of course, you know, maybe this police officer doesn't have any malicious intent from looking through the car, but these things do add up and they matter in uh, situations when maybe it's you're the one getting pulled over. We'll find it. Because okay. I was in the back seat. Can I look? How about I look for you? Okay. Because I have no idea if it's back there. But I have it, so that's all I know. 
Why do we need it right now? Because I want to well, hey, distract myself. Okay. With like TikTok or something. If you want your phone, you can have your phone. Where, where, where would it be at, Victoria? I don't remember. Okay. It should be in the front or the back, but I had it in the back because I was sitting in the back. Okay. Do you care if we look real quick? I don't care. Okay. So she just gave the police officer consent to search the car for the phone. If they find something else, she'll be in trouble. Yes, it's Hold on, if you just want to hang out by him. So the I'm black ones... Into the car. I'm just no, I'm not saying that it's just because my back is no, turned. No, you can check. You can check. I'm not going to do anything, trust oh, me. Where, what color is your phone? My phone has like sparkles in the back of it. Got it. Yeah, I don't have it, so... Okay. I have toilet paper in my... I have a vape though, okay. so don't worry. Cheap. Okay. Okay, so another one here. Is that a player for a... Yes, that was a phone. That was all we needed. Uh -huh. Yep, that's all I need. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Just this way, check that right? So, okay. Notice how the police officer is still looking in the car after he gets the phone. And again, this is nothing against the police officer. He's just doing his job. But these things are important, people. So, I'm gonna sit on the ground. Okay. Okay. By the way, she's very clumsy, so. Oh, okay. What's her name? Her name's Shauna. What's that? Shauna. Shauna? My girl. Oh, okay. Right on. And I love her so much. How long have you guys been dating for? Huh? How long have you guys been dating for? Since um, two months, actually. Almost three months. Nice. Things going well? Yes. Good. What does your tattoo say? My tattoo says, don't give up, say Sean, for the end. Because I suffer from mental health. Well, what you watching on TikTok there? I'm watching someone who is transgender, and I'm planning on transitioning, but not yet. Okay. And I want to make sure that that cop is not mean to her. Okay? Yeah. Because I got you. I will be aggressive if that happens. Uh, okay. So I just want to make sure that he is okay. Okay. I can't even count backwards. <laughs> I don't think he's not doing that. Are you okay? I love you. Are you no, I'm not okay. It's being okay. I have mental health. I can't help it. I told her. She's actually being really calm, even though she's the one really in trouble here. No, I told her. I grab it. Or I don't know where it went. It might be down there. We don't know because we kind of drink it all, but um. Oh yeah, I have. Can this. I open the door? How about I look? How about I look? There's bananas on the floor, but yes. Oh wait, it's right there. We're at, right there. Right back there. Okay, I'll grab it in a bit here. Okay, I'll grab it in a second. Hey, Victoria. You don't have any weapons with you, do you? No, I okay. have toilet paper in my pocket. Okay, you just mind just keep your hands out of your pocket for me. Can I take me? this out? What's it? What is it? It's toilet paper. Okay. And my phone, I'll throw in there. Okay. I was going to say, when's the last thing you smoked weed? Like recently? Like within, I would say, a couple hours ago? So, and that's kind of making a lot more sense out of it. So the driver of the car, just from listening, is essentially admitting that she smoked weed. So she's going to get arrested for DUI. You should always zip it. Just mm, mm. ask for a lawyer. Zip it. It will make your life a lot easier. If they already have probable cause, you are going to get arrested. But you're going to get arrested anyway. It's all about helping yourself beat the case. Remember, you can't beat the ride. You can beat the the case. What's the plan for the rest of the day? I don't know. Okay. I like literally posted right there on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> because you live in town? Yeah. Okay. We live down the road. How long guys have been there for? Um, I just moved in. Very nice. And then we become dating afterwards. But oh, okay. at first we were just friends and then. Yeah. Evolved. Yeah. yeah. Right on. So here's the thing though. I'm placing another. No, 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 sorry, Victoria. No, 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 down, 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 down,
<laughs> okay, so Victoria isn't doing herself any favors. She likely was not going to get arrested. Uh, but upon finding out that her significant other, the driver, was going to get arrested, it sure looked like uh, she got upset. She wanted to go confront that officer. And then when the officer who was babysitting her um, tried to stop her, she freaked out. And now she is probably under arrest for assaulting an officer and uh, now maybe even resisting arrest. Get off of me! <laughs> I got her. No! That's fine. No! You're okay. Oh. Get off! Don't kick me. Get off! Get off of me! Don't kick it. No! There. Off. All right. Don't handcuff me! Get off! Well, unfortunately, you're now under arrest for battery to law enforcement. Get off! I need you to relax, okay? Get off! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything on you at all? No. Okay, we're going to roll you on your side. Do you, do you got these double locks? Yeah, they're both double locks. Okay. We're going to roll you on your side. Do you? No. Yep, to me. Right. Here you go. All right. Just remain like that. Oh, oh. Get it's only making it worse. Pat her down. I'll search her. Sorry. She took a bunch of stuff off of her pockets. That's fine. Really Don't. Nope. Get oh. off. All right. Get off. Okay. Yeah. Finish up on that side. Get off of me. There. Okay. Yep. So do you see what they're doing here? Now that she is under arrest, the police can do something called a SITLA, a search incident to a lawful arrest. So they are allowed to search her immediate person for weapons, drug paraphernalia, anything that might be on her immediate body. This is because she is under arrest. Nothing in my fucking pocket. And that's okay. We just got to make sure, all right? Okay, you just can't be throwing kicks at us and pinching us, okay? Get off! I'm not going to get off your legs and I know you're done kicking at us. Get off of me. Okay, you're what we'll do is we're going to get off of me. bring her get up. Get off! Get her in. Where's your squad? Get off of me! On Perry. Don't right. kick. I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, let yeah, go let's bring it over I'm here. Let go of me. No. Let go of me. I'm gonna fucking kick you. Well, get off. That's why he's not gonna that's let go of you. Let go. go of me and I'll we be just, fine. No. Just let go. You already shown that you're gonna keep kicking. I'm not. No, let go. I will let go of me. Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. Victoria, stop hurting yourself. We gotta go to jail. I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my Victoria, stop. Stop. So these police officers have been remarkably calm throughout this entire process. Yeah, unfortunately, throwing a, a tantrum will not increase your chances of the police letting you go. In fact, they will decrease them. They will come off at the jail eventually, but if you keep doing this, it's going to be on longer. They will eventually. They fucking die on my left arm. I can't feel the left wrist. I can't feel my wrist. I need you to stop and lose them. I'm going as fast as I can. This police officer has his sirens on. He's running stop signs because he just wants to get her out of his car. Victoria, just breathe. Just breathe, okay? As much as you move, it's gonna hurt more. Just stop. But I can move my right arm. 
Just breathe. Stop. 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 She has a lot of energy. I can't believe she's still like hit, hitting the side of the car. She's just hitting her head to battery law enforcement. Yeah. Victoria, stop! Let me out! Are, are you being nice to these guys? Yes! But give me the yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Just breathe. Yeah. Just breathe. It's right in my left arm. Okay. Okay, if we start moving them, we can you do that. Okay, so I gotta call my boss and just see what his like. We'll is. tell him I'm okay. Okay, I'll 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 relay that to him. Okay. We, have, we don't have to go in there. We can stand right here. Okay. Yep. Cool that. All right. I do have the pee though, so that is another okay. thing. Okay. All right. The suspect was charged with one felony count of battery to law enforcement. A few months later, she was rearrested and charged with disorderly conduct and bail jumping. The suspect pled no contest to her battery charge and was given a deferred sentence, while her new disorderly charges were dismissed. So there you go. Um, had she just been quiet and watched TikTok on her phone while the police did their job with the driver, she would have avoided all of this. Remember, the best advice I can give is zip it. Ask for a lawyer. Be polite. Zip it. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Big verdict.